Once the NEMA Integrity Management application has been launched, the standard end user is directed to the backstage view of the application. In the backstage view, the end user is able to create or start a new project from the list of available process templates that are being configured and uploaded to the specific environment. In order to do this, the user can navigate through the list of all process templates, find and select a process template of interest, preview some of the basic information on that process template, including name, description, and meta views, and then select Start New Project. In order to more quickly find a process template of interest, the user can navigate to one of the pre-configured filter fields, for example, My Recent and All. Here, the list of process templates can be filtered based on a specific keyword, for example, Fitness for Service. With entering the word Fitness, the list of process templates are reduced to only show those where the word Fitness exists, either in the title, description, and or specification of the process template. After that, the user can select the process template of interest, preview the information, and start new project. Once a new project is started, it is going to be launched and created in the multifunctional display view of the application, where the user is able to continue working with that project. Back in the backstage view, the users can also create a user-defined filter category to more easily find process templates of interest, so new projects can be created out of these process templates. In order to do this, the Add Filter icon can be selected and a group name can be created. For example, a group of Fitness for Service process templates can be created by selecting the type, configuring the filter expression, and selecting which tab this filter should be applied to. After that, New and Apply can be selected. Once that is done, a new user-defined category is created that contains a list of process templates where the word fitness is within the name of the process template. After that, the user can navigate to any one of these process templates to start a new project. If the user would like to open a previously created project, the user can then navigate to the Open tab in the Backstage view and navigate to the full list of projects to find a project of interest or the pre-configured categories can be used to search and find a specific project of interest. The user can also apply a filter criteria where the list is going to be reduced to only show projects where the word fitness is present in the title, description, and or specifications. Here, projects of interest can be selected, basic information of the project previewed, and open project selected. Once the user has opened a project, they will again be directed to the multifunctional display view where preview details of that project can be viewed, as well as the working on the execution of that project can be continued. Navigating back to the backstage view, once the user has opened a project, they can preview basic information of that project, including its name, which process template it was created from, basic meta information on the project, including creation and modification properties, geodatabase version, and function version dates. The user is also allowed to edit the status of the project, changing it from draft to released, and or the user can log a project, which means the modification of input and also the execution will not be further allowed. If any changes have been made to a project, the user can then save it as well in the backstage view or save a project as another project, meaning create a duplication of the project by selecting Saving As and giving it a different name. Users can also export any input datasets and or related datasets that are used in an open project. By doing this, the user can select the Export tab in the backstage view and drill down to a specific process step and select either Output and or Input dataset of interest and then export. In this example, select just one data set. Give that file a name. Decide where that file should be stored. Once that is configured, this file could be exported and navigate to the file cloud to find that specific file of interest. Navigating back to the Backstage view, users can also close any open projects by selecting the Close tab in the Backstage view. 
Users can also preview detailed processing information and a log of any execution steps of a process template and or project. They can select a specific process step and preview the log of the events that have occurred. For example, when that project was started and the execution was finished. Users can also preview basic settings of this environment, including information of all the configured tags in that environment, information of any connected databases, and also the coordinate system that has been configured. This is only for information, and the end user is not allowed to change or edit these settings. The end user can also preview any connected libraries to the environment and then preview the process templates within this environment. However, the user is not allowed to again transfer templates or share templates between libraries and the local environment. Users can also view or preview any plugins that are included in the environment. Users can also see basic information of the NEMA product by selecting About, including information on the version of employment, support contact, and licensing agreements.